In this short video, we're going to learn about infinite limits. Let's look at the function f of x equals 1 over x minus 2. We can see that as x approaches 2 from the left, the graph increases without bound in the positive direction. So the y-coordinates are increasing without bound in the positive direction. Using limit notation, we indicate this by saying the limit as x approaches 2 from the left of f of x is infinity. And we write the infinity symbol. On the other hand, if we approach 2 from the right-hand side, then we see that the graph goes down and the y-coordinates are increasing without bound in the negative direction. Using limit notation, we would write the limit as x approaches 2 from the right of f of x is negative infinity. And as a reminder, we would say that the limit as x approaches 2 of f of x does not exist because the left limit differs from the right limit. So in our informal definition of a limit, we would say that the limit as x approaches a of f of x is infinity, provided that the values of x can be made arbitrarily large by taking x sufficiently close to on either side, but not equal to a. And you would have a similar definition if you're looking at what it means for the limit as x approaches a of f of x to equal negative infinity. Now we can look at something familiar from algebra, a vertical asymptote, and define it very precisely using limits. So we say that the, uh, whoops, have to make a correction here. y equals a is not a vertical line, it is a horizontal line. I meant to say the line x equals a is called a vertical asymptote of y equals f of x, provided that at least one of these limits statements is true. You could have the limit as x approaches a from the right of f of x being positive infinity, or the limit as x approaches a from the left of f of x being positive infinity, or you could say that the limit as x approaches a from the right of f of x is negative infinity, or the limit as x approaches a from the left of f of x is negative infinity. So if any of these four statements is true, then the line x equals a is a vertical asymptote. So let's work out some examples. So what we're thinking here is that uh, we know that uh, when x equals 1 in our first example, the denominator is 0. So this function is not defined when uh, x equals 1. Uh, the numerator is a constant 2. And so we know we're going to have a, from algebra, we know we're going to have a vertical asymptote when x equals 1. So I just need to think about, well, what's happening in terms of the sign? So is this going to approach negative infinity or positive infinity? Well, the denominator is squared, so it will always be positive. And the numerator is a constant positive 2. So these values, no matter how close I get to 1, they're always going to be positive values. So I can say, that the limit as x approaches 1 of 2 over quantity x minus 1 squared 
is going to be infinity. And the next example, we're going to say x, the limit as x approaches 2 from the left of x over quantity x squared minus 4. So I'm going to rewrite that as the limit as x approaches 2 from the left of x over x plus 2 parentheses x minus 2 parentheses. So I just factored the denominator. Why? Because I want to determine when x is to the left of 2 but close to 2, so smaller than 2 but close to 2, what is the sign of the function? Well, if I'm close to positive 2, the numerator is going to be positive. And x plus 2 will be positive. But if I'm smaller than 2, x minus 2 will be a negative number. And so altogether, I will get a negative value for that. No matter how close I get to negative 2, I'm sorry, to positive 2, no matter how close I get to positive 2, if I'm on the left side, I'm going to get a negative value. And so this is going to equal negative infinity in the limit. All right. Well, let's use the same logic, same technique to find the limit as x approaches 2 from the right. Again, I factor the denominator just to help me determine the sign. Now when 2, when I'm, x is greater than 2 and close to 2, all of these factors are going to be positive x is positive, x plus 2 is positive, and even x minus 2 is positive. And so in the limit, this is going to go to infinity. Now, since the left limit is different from the right limit, then the limit as x approaches 2 of x over x squared minus 4 does not exist. I hope you found this short video on infinite limits useful.